hell? How's it going, guys? I'm Cody Fleming. And I'm Jacob Water. And on today's episode, we're going to be going out small game hunt. We got a lot of stuff. We got some woodcock, some dove. We're out for dove mainly. I brought the 410 out here today because I kind of wanted to get something smaller for the small, smaller birds. So I might get us a squirrel or something on the way there. Got a couple rabbits running around. I've seen it about all of it. Looks like it should be a good place. There's tons of stuff running around. We've already seen some doves and some squirrels. All we got to do is get close enough to get a shot off at one. But like we said, there's plenty of stuff here and a lot of different stuff too. So we don't, we're not really sure what's going to pop out first, but we'll get ready and see what happens. All right, so right here, you guys, is actually where I shot my first deer. It was a uh, button buck, which is not the greatest, but you know, first is the first. It was right about there, and it was about 75 yards away. And it was come out the day after my dad shot an eight point with me. I couldn't see it, so he got it. So the next day, we're sitting here, and a button buck comes out. And that's when I got my first deer. Amazing experience. It really got me into hunting a lot more. So here I am today. Keep doing it. So they're always out in these pine trees when I'm out here deer hunting. They're always flying between pine trees and that. So we're going to go kind of look around some of these pine trees, see if they flush out. Usually, I always see at least a pack of like 20 dove running around. So we're going to go look. Fall fails, we got some quail that we put out here earlier today. So should be some good content for you guys. Get a good catch and cook and clean going on. Should be amazing. Alright, so right in here is where I found my actually my first buck. I shot him right there at that tree stand. We weren't really sure. Right there. We weren't really sure about it because, uh, you know, it, it wasn't bleeding a lot. But we were looking, and my dad turns and he looks at me and says, Oh, right there it is. It was right in there. Right in our pine tree. It was an amazing, it was an amazing shot. We didn't, we were running kind of unsure at the time, but it was before I was really into YouTube. So here we are now. We're still hunting that same spot, doing the same thing. So hopefully this year I'll get a big buck out of there. Got some fresh deer crap right here. Yeah, I'll just stop right here. They're probably here this morning. Let us know what kind of videos you guys like to see. Like, if you guys like seeing us do more of the bigger stuff, like deer hunting, if you like seeing us walk around, shoot small game, like squirrels and stuff, let us know. If you like fishing, even, let us know. We're just trying to get to know. What you guys want to see so we know what videos to make more of because that that really help us out to make our channel the way that you guys want it to be and it eventually help us grow our channel so whatever you guys want to see let us know we got a bunch of these little birds always coming coming around here the uh the problem with them is they when they're walking in this brush they just kind of bounce so it's not like a squirrel when they walk they're all side to side and you hear them a lot more so uh, you always think they're a deer and they kind of suck, but you can't really shoot them because they're like a little Tweety Bird, the little bluebirds. So we got to find some way to get rid of them, but hopefully soon. All right, so we just saw a dove up in this tree right here. He just flew down right here. So we're going to see if we can get on him. guys so right here we just saw a quail running from this little roadway right here so we're gonna kind of I don't know how far in he went so we're just gonna kind of like do a little mini drive right here but let's give her a shot I'll stay on the outside in case he runs out here how far in should I go about right there maybe <laughs> right there maybe <laughs> If he picks up again, we kind of got to, but we won't ever see him again. Alright guys, so that one got away. I didn't really want to shoot because it didn't really seem right to shoot him like two feet off the ground. Just about running, so we can't find him in there. We might come back through and find him. I don't know. Alright, we're going to keep trying up these trails because that seems the best. Everything's just way too thick. So I mean, we're going to just try to walk up these trails. I mean, hopefully there's going to be more. There should be. Uh... Because when he brings up his dog, then that's some of them get away and stuff. So some of them are running around still, so. Yeah, so it should be pretty interesting for you guys. We're going to continue up this trail. 
should be something. This is usually what we stock and put them, put them near the trail so we can kind of find them. So it wouldn't be surprised me if we still had one laying around, all right? So we'll see you guys there. There, we just got him. Flushed him, it was kind of a bad angle, but I think he should be good, I don't know. We got a bunch of feathers. He's right there, is he good? There, we got him. We got him, guys. Look the other one. <laughs> Alright, so we just got him. <laughs> Had a couple misses, but we got him good, boys. With the old 410. Haven't used this thing in a little while. I don't really know about the BB sight. It's not a very great, great uh, bird gun, but a little single shot. Did pretty good for us. I think I kind of center masked him, but it looked good, so I'm gonna go try to do a catch cook. So here we are, guys. Got my bird. Got him with a little 410. Uh, it was a leftover from when we were stocking, or not stocking, but when we were training the dog. So he had time to get out and move around. So got pretty lucky. Saw him on the trail. Got him. We still got one more right back in here that we cannot find. Quail are very, very good at hiding. So let's see what we can get. See if we can find him. If we can't, we can't. If we do, whatever. So can still cook him up. Probably go look for some pigeons tonight too. This little. behind that pole for you. You better be ready. Jake, you better get yeah, in. Get in. I'm ready. Are we sure it's one? I just keep going. It doesn't matter. Is it this other one? Don't hit that little window right there. It's not one. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We go. <laughs> See, it was one all along. I didn't believe you. That's great, though. Oh my god. Man. Look at that. Oh yeah. I told you it was one all along. Come on, we need to get out of this. It's deep right up. Good shot, dude. That was far. That was way far than I usually shoot with a 410. I'm not to climb over a fence with a gun. All right, so here we are, back of the house. We're gonna get these birds butchered up. See, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a catch and cook. We've already really done a pigeon, but it's a good ad it's a good addition to the video. So, we're gonna do the quail. I'm gonna do this. And of course, we can't show it on film. Kind of sucks, but we'll get her done. Hey, it was a pretty successful day. Uh... Quite a bit more than we thought we'd chew. Uh, like we said, we went out looking for just about anything. I mean, pigeon, quail, rabbits, anything like that. And for us, we usually don't have the best luck with just going out and trying to do stuff like that. So it was pretty good for us to do this. And not only that, did we get one, we got two. So, like I was saying, it was very successful. And, uh, I mean, like Jake said, we're going to cook them up and see how they taste. Like we said, we had pigeon, but we haven't had quail yet. So we're going to have to try that. But we'll get these cleaned up and show you guys what they look like. All right, guys, so while we're skinning up our, or uh, breasting out our birds, a little hunting dog, she gets up on this freezer in our house. She watches everything. So we're over there skinning up. She was watching us this whole time. All right, guys, so here we go. We got them both breasted out. This is the quail right here, and this is the pigeon right here. You can see a little bit of a difference in color. Like, the pigeon's just a really dark red, and the quail's a lot lighter, almost pink. But we're gonna just try these both out. We're probably just gonna salt and pepper these with a little bit of this spray on, sprayable butter in this pan just so we can get it, what the real taste is and compare them. So all we're gonna do is fry them up in this pan with a little bit of sprayable butter and stuff. And just use salt and pepper so we get the full taste. All right, so right here, here we go. These are the pigeon, or this is the pigeon right here. If you guys can see that, it's a little darker, still even cooked. 
like that and the dove or the not the dove the uh the quail it's still this is way closer to chicken i'd say looking anyways it's just a lot lighter this right here it almost looks like a piece of uh beef or deer meat or something like that it's just got a weird dark color if you saw our other video where we just cooked it over top of a fire it was a little bit darker this but probably because we just cooked it over top of a fire but we're gonna let these cook for a little bit longer and then we'll give them a try all right so here we are they're all cooked pigeon meat is still got that reddish dark color but we've cooked it for so long it's got to be done Gertie what are you doing She's already loving the camera. Look at that. She knows what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so now we got our finest china right here. And we will get this dished up and see which one we like the best. Oh, God. Let's get it all in there. You can tell the difference just by looking at it. Dude, she's quite fascinated with all this. Let's see what we got. Alright. I, I'm gonna go right for the quail because I haven't <laughs> tried that yet. You haven't tried quail yet? No. You? No. I just thought you would have. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are. We got the quail right here and the pigeon right here. And we're gonna see which one we like the best. I think it should be pretty good. Alright, so this is quail. Three, yeah. two, one. Quail's not bad. It's a little bit chewy. Mmm. It's really not that bad. No. I don't I don't hate it. It's kind of like turkey, if I had to say something. Now here's the pigeon, if you guys want to see what that is. Pigeon? Ah! Dirty. Let me get a piece. I love pigeon. It's so good and tender. Pigeon's definitely the best meat of all time. Yep. That's really surprising. I thought quail was actually going to taste pretty good, but honestly... It's a pigeon that tastes the best. Something that lives in the barn, eats crap all day, is really good. Gertie. Gertie. She'll eat it. Let's see what Gertie thinks. She likes Gertie, pigeon. come here. You gotta be on camera. Gertie. Gertie, don't leave the camera. Come here. Come here. Okay, goodbye. All right. All right, so I think this is where we're going to end off the video for the day. I think... Uh, I think we did a pretty, fairly good catch and cook. I know we've done like, I think two catch and cooks on pigeons, but quail was a new addition and you know, pigeons just kind of happened on accident. So that's always good. Yeah, so we didn't really expect to get two things. We were kind of hoping to at least just get one, but it worked out so we got two things that we could kind of compare. And believe it or not, pigeon did win. We really thought quail would be the best, but. Pebbles. Pebbles. Come here. Come here. What do you think, baby Danny? There we go. She likes quail too. They're both good. It's just pigeons really good. And it's just weird. It's just such a dark meat. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe as always. Follow us on Instagram. We'll see you in the next video.